Hello everyone, this is Unreal Noob and welcome to Unreal Engine for Beginners Tutorial. We are making a dungeon crawler and in the last lesson we made the input, uh, movement inputs. Uh, we can move forward, backward, right and left. We can also look up and look down to a certain degrees so that we do not like uh, see through the floor. And in today's uh, lesson we will be covering of animations how to retarget and make blend space and animation blueprints so without any further delays let us get started the first thing we would require is to retarget the animations and the skeletons so uh, I'm using the GK Knight I will open that up uh, in meshes I have the skeleton And um, wait, why is yeah like that? So this is the skeleton for the Gothic Knight, and uh, for the animations, I have the Magical Knight set. It's a paid one. You can use whatever you have. And um, in demo content mannequin, we have the skeleton for this magical knight set. Uh, open up your retarget manager if you do not have it open. Uh, click on Windows and retarget manager. The, it will open up your retarget manager. So the first thing we need to make sure is the select rig. It's set to humanoid. If it's not, please make sure it is. And then in the skeleton tree, skeleton tree, we need need to make sure that the upper arm is not 50 uh, 40 seems good 40 seems good um, um, and the upper arm underscore R make sure it's 40 as well now let's go up uh, we have to make sure the lower arm L is 30 and this is 30 as well. These values are not uh, perfect like these would vary from skeleton to skeleton how they have been set up. Your main objective is to make sure that they resemble the T pose. What you can do is modify pose, use current pose, save, and for the mannequin as well, make sure this is 50. As you could see, like the one for the gothic knight was 40, but in this case, it's 50. So, like I said, it will vary from skeleton to skeleton. Just make sure that it is a T pose. save now once both of these are done save all and I'll go back to the gothic knight meshes I'll click on this I'll retarget to under skeleton I'll retarget it to the magical knight retarget and once it's done Make sure the one you are using, this Gothic Knight VA, I'm using. Make sure you select the skeleton, assign skeleton. And this one would be the mannequin from the Magical Knight set. Make sure all of these matches as they are. If something is missing or something does not match, you have to upload this file to Blender and fix it so that it matches with the left hand side press accept after they match and once it's done I can go back 
to my dungeon crawler folder character make a new folder call in animations right click and under animation make animation blueprint make sure it is to whatever you pre-targeted mine is magical night set and we'll name it a b s uh, idle walk run double click on it keep the idle on the center please let's save it and also let's check it out in our bp player in viewport if we click on the mesh uh, select the animation asset we can choose idle and you can see it goes into the idle stance so that means our retarget was a success so we'll change it back to use animation blueprint and we do not have an animation blueprint yet so let us fill this one up for walk um, back back 45 this is left so this one is the right side this is the left side 45 45 45 45 45 45 45 45 and 45 Straight front left 45 This would be the left. This would be the right. And at the end, we would be doing the run. We actually have. these as well so we'll just change it with this run strap back this is the run left back left 45 right This is the front left forty front left forty five right front forty five the last is the left and the right so uh, sorry left and right so let's see this is the idle we are moving front running front this is the forty five degrees to the right. In the asset details, make sure your horizontal is named as right velocity. Mac uh, minimum value would be minus 600, maximum would be 600, interpolation time to be 0.1. The vertical axis would be the forward velocity minus 600 to 600 oh, point 0.1 you might want to keep it to minus 400 uh, sorry minus 400 to 400 I would say because um, running right and left is not faster than the I mean not equal or greater than the forward and backward so with this setup we'll go back to our dungeon crawler character folder make sure you save all we will make the animation blueprint make sure this is based off the mannequin of the magical night set as well whatever you are using this would be the animation blueprint and we'll name it abp clear <clears throat> once this is open we would create uh, state machine new state machine 
and set the this one up we'll call it idle uh, sorry we'll call it locomotion we'll open it up and in entry we'd add a state this one would be our idle walk run and inside this we will just add in whatever we made and for these uh, and we have to find out the right velocity and the forward velocity for that we'll go to the event graph we will take this one up make call in the event begin blueprint begin play and from here we will get our character sorry player ref and we will just promote this to a variable it will be called character ref and drag in get the character ref if it is valid actually I'll just convert to get valid ref. if it is valid only then we do a sequence and over here what we need to do is get the character reference we want to get the velocity and get world transform of the mesh uh, sorry world transform we would inverse this transform and this one would be our mesh space velocity we'll plug this in and you'll get it and split this one the x would be the right and the y would be a forward so we need to go back to our bp player and in the animation anim class make sure the abp player is selected so that when you move forward it is the forward animation the animation is up the animation is in first okay so this is the left Hmm, did I do something wrong over here? Let us check. Take the world transform the velocity. Okay, nothing's wrong. So, a simple fix would be just uh, change your left to the right. You can skip to 1433 if you want to skip this part. So once that is done, let us go back to the map and play. Now this looks good enough, I would say. We have a bit of a breathing, which is good to give you a real life feeling. But if you do not want that, what you could simply do is <coughs> 
make sure the spring arm is not apparent to anything make sure it's back to root make sure uh, both camera and spring arm parent socket is set to none and for the spring arm use pawn control rotation is true while the camera use pawn control rotation is set to false and if you set them up properly then you should not have any camera breathing let me show it to you again uh, make sure the it is not apparent or to anything the spring arm and the camera is neither and <clears throat> make sure these are unchecked aspect ratio and use spawn control rotation and in the spring arm make sure these are all checked in and make sure to turn off the collision test and the target arm length 300 is pretty much fine so with that done we have we have our camera and we would <clears throat> open up our player controller a bit to make sure it's minus 90 maybe minus 80 Yeah, only this much. Minus, 50, minus 60 would be good. Minus 60. Yeah. So we can look only this much below and this much up. Which is really good. So we cannot jump yet. Hmm. So guys, that was the eight direction movement. Um, <clears throat> I'll leave it over here and in the next tutorial, we'll be making up our interaction system so that we can pick up our sword and shield or any other weapon that we choose. So thank you guys for watching the tutorial and if you enjoyed and learned something from it, please do like the video and subscribe to my channel. and. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.